Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on logarithms. In this video, we'll be looking at multiplication and division, where we'll be using logarithm tables to evaluate multiplication and division. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on logarithms. So we start with problem one. Problem one, evaluate 43.16 times 6.835. In our solution, we'll be presenting our work in a table. So we have a two column table here. The first column is number and the second column is log. So under the number column, we'll place in our values. That's 43.16 times 6.835. Now, to find the logarithm of 43.16, we are going to give the first part, which is the integer part, and the second part, which is the decimal fractional part. The integer part is obtained from power of 10 by expressing the number as standard form, or by just inspecting how many digits before the decimal point? Then you take one out of it. So we have two digits. So that's two minus one gives one. And the integer part of this logarithm is one. We have our point. Then we go to the logarithm table. Under the logarithm table, we check 43 under one differences of six. And that gives 6351. So we are done with that. Coming down here, we have one digit before the decimal point. So one minus one gives zero. So we are going to have zero as the integer part of the logarithm of 6.835. We place our point, go to the logarithm table, 68 under three differences of five gives 8347. And since this is multiplication, by law of logarithm, we are going to add the logarithm of the two numbers. So we add, in our addition, this is 1 plus 7 gives 8, 5 plus 4 gives 9, 3 plus 3 gives 6, 6 plus 8 gives 14. We write 4 and carry over 1. We place our point. That 1 carried over to this place plus 1 gives 2 plus zero gives two. So we've gotten the sum of the logarithms. From the sum we obtain, we are going to find the anti-logarithm of 2.4698. To do that, we leave this integer part and go to the anti-logarithm table. We check 0.46 under nine differences of eight. So with that, we have 2949. We come back to the integer part. The integer part is 2. We add 1. It becomes 3. We then count 3 digits and place the decimal point. 1, 2, 3. So the decimal point is coming immediately after the third digit, which is 4. So we have the solution of 43. 0.16 times 6.835 as 294.9. And that's the end of solution to problem one. We go to problem two. For problem two, evaluate 6018 divided by 87.25. See presenting our work in a table. We have number and log. So this is 6018 coming here divide by 87.25 so the integer part of the logarithm of 6018 is 3 we place our point go to the logarithm table 60 under one differences of 8 we have 7795 that is done now for the logarithm of 87.25 we get our integer part first the integer part is 1, 1, 2, 2 digits before the decimal point, 
minus 1 gives 1. Place our point. Now from the logarithm table, 87 under 2 differences of 5 gives 9407. And by law of logarithm, if you are dividing, we are going to subtract the logarithm. So we have minus there. 7 cannot be taken away from 5. We borrow 1 from 9. It becomes 15. 15 minus 7 gives 8. So we are left with 8 here. 8 minus 0 gives 8. 7 minus 4 gives 3. 7 minus 9, no. Again, we borrow 1 from 3, becoming 1, 7 here. So 1, 7 minus 9 gives 8. We place our point. We are left with 2. 2 minus 1 gives 1. So this is what we got from the difference. Now we find the anti-logarithm of the number. So again, we keep this integer part. We go to the anti-logarithm table. 83 under 8 differences of 8 gives 6900. We come back to the integer part. Adding 1 to 1, we have 2. We count 2 digits and place the decimal point. 1, 2, we place our decimal point. And that's all for the division of 6018 by 87.25. We then go to problem 3. For problem 3, evaluate 19.06 times 12.76 over 78.2. Still in a tabular form, uh, we are going to deal with the numerator first. So dealing with the numerator, we have 19.06 times 12.76. The integer part of the logarithm of 19.06 is 1. So going to the logarithm table, 19 under 0 differences of 6 gives 2801. And coming down here, we have the integer part to be 1. And now from the logarithm table, 12 under 7 differences of 6 gives 1059. Again, this is multiplication. By law of logarithm, we will add the logarithms. So this is 1 plus 9 giving us 10, you write 0 carry 1, that 1 plus this 5 gives 6, we have a 8, 3, 2. We then keep this one as numerator. We go down to the denominator, which is 78.2, the integer part is 1, then 78 under 2 from the logarithm table gives 8932. So we now have this as numerator and this as the denominator. Since the meaning of 19.06 times 12.76 over 78.2 means 19.06 times 12.76 divided by 78.2. We are going to subtract. That is 2.3860 minus 1.8932. So we are borrowing 1 from 6, making 1 0. So 1 0 minus 2 gives 8. We are left with 5 after borrowing 1. 5 minus 3 gives 2. Here again, we borrow 1 from 3. Making 1, 8. 1, 8 minus 9 gives 9. And we are left with 2. We borrow 1. 1, 2 minus 8 gives 4. Place our point. We are left with 1. 1 minus 1 gives 0. Then from the difference we have now, we find the anti-logarithm. We said we keep this integer part. From the anti-logarithm table, 49 under 2 differences of 8 gives 
three one 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 we come back to the integer part add one to it we have one and place a decimal point so the evaluation of the problem in problem three is 3.111 but then we have to correct to three significant figures which means 19.09 times 12.76 over 78.2 is equal to 3.11 to three significant figures remember this one is not up to five it is rounded down so we are just left with 3.11 which is the end of solution to problem three this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on Logredim. Until we come your way again, goodbye.